Ladies, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, you are now welcome to the show that never ends. You know what time it is, boy. It's your boy, Toby. This is... We'll name this show later, man. You got what I'm saying? But this is still fre- this is still part of Fresh Off The Boat show. You go, I mean, go check out our other videos, man. Listen, listen, listen. Salute to every single one of you out there, man. I hope everyone is having a good day. Listen, I'm having a good day. Just came back from work. And I just thought, listen, I'm just going to come and spend this time with you guys, man. You go, I'm saying? Because I've been laughing my head off all day but before we get to that man salute to every single one of you you can be anywhere in the world but you're right here with me listen if you're just coming to this platform for the first time yeah what are you waiting for what are you waiting for subscribe to the channel watch the videos leave a comment leave a like share it tell a friend to tell a friend or tell an enemy to tell a friend Listen, we are on 8,000 subscribers right now, yeah? Let's get this to 9,000 subscribers. Let's get this channel to 9,000 subscribers. Be the change. You go, I mean, click the button right there, man. Click it, click it, click it right there. You go, I'm saying? And boy, 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 I'm so excited for this one. (laughs) Yo! Listen. You man are probably wondering, what is so funny? What is funny is, this is a typical example why you cannot take niggas nowhere. You cannot take niggas anywhere. Because they will always be niggas. They will always be niggas. And what am I talking about? Mick Mill, boy. Mick Mill. Mick Millie, Dream Chasers, a.k.a. Cloud Chasers. You go, I mean, and I think the Ghanaians might call him Ohema, Ohema Meek. Ohema Meek. That's, that's his name for <laughs> Yo! Listen, you know what? Burn this, man. I, I want to have a vibe before, before I jump in. Get on my neck, these niggas don't know my stomach. Let's take my ribs. Play my tail, you play my money. Somebody gonna end up dead. Hold up. I gotta chill. No, I keep it one in the head. Give a fuck about what you did. I know that killing nigga ain't gay, so I'd rather buy my mama crib. And yeah, I still believe in prayer. I know that God gonna clean my sins. You know my heart is pierced, God. I'm sharing my blessings through my friends and through my hood. I barely made the team. I'm with the owners on the wood. This shit wasn't in my dream to buy a team, I'm knowing I could. I'm popping independent, handling my business, I'm feeling good. I'm wishing these niggas would. Blessings, blessings, hold up, blessings. Niggas ain't learning their lesson, hold up. I get them time, they get on they. Yo, I am having fun with this shit, bro. You go know upset. This is. Yo, listen, 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 listen. Let me calm myself down. Toby, Toby, you on some bullshit right now. Calm down, boy. Calm down, boy. Whew. So this is a situation where when doing too much goes wrong, bro. Doing too much goes wrong. So Mick Mill, obviously, he was in Ghana, yeah? He was in Ghana for the Afro Nation. Amazing, amazing performance. The hospitality was great. Everything was amazing. My guy was on socials, and you know me, bruh, he would, he would tweet it, he would Instagram it, he will let you know, you get what I'm saying, and my man did that, let's go on his Instagram, bro, let's go on my guy's Instagram, so this was him when he was in Ghana, bro. As you can see, I'm going to switch off the sound because because I don't want no copyright strike thing and all that, bro. Well, then. You know what? Fuck that. Yo, for for like a second, yeah, I thought Homeboy was like the president of Ghana, fam. I'm not going to lie. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ghanaians, please, does the president move like this? Because I think Mick is now the president of Ghana. You get what I'm saying? Mick Millie, a.k.a. 
Ohe Mamik. He is now Kojo Mik. He is now the president of Ghana, fam. You guys said because my guy, my guy was moving presidential. Bro. Look at You know what I'm saying? Ghanaians was acting like Jesus Christ came. And bro, I'm not going to sit here and be an hypocrite, yeah? I was I was also like, I love the fact that he was in Ghana. The concert, I enjoyed the, the concert and everything. But I'm not looking at Meek like some Martin Luther King or something. I'm not looking at Meek as a life changer or something. You know what I'm saying? He is just an artist. He is just a rapper. But obviously, and the thing about Meek is he cut us to a to a a certain demographic. You go, know I'm saying the bike community and all that. So everyone came out for him. Everyone came out for him. The whole the whole country, you know, Accra was buzzing. That's the picture of here. He was standing. He was standing here like you know, um, the 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 um robot in. In um, uh, what's the name of this movie again? I am Robert or whatever that movie. I I am Legend or something. Whatever that is. Yeah, you know I'm saying the Will the Will Smith film. Yeah, my guy was standing there. Look at everyone. Everyone was looking up to him and everything. You know what I'm saying? And and pictures and portraits and art and everything. Closing his eyes and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like everyone will like, save us, save us, save us, save us. And that's the thing about Africans, though. Yeah. A lot of Africans have the God complex. If you don't know what the God complex is, go and Google it. Because I'm a reading nigga. You get what I'm saying? A lot of Africans, a lot of black people have the God complex. You get what I'm saying? The amount of love that you're gonna show a foreigner, you will not show you you will not show it to your own people. Bloody monkeys. You get what I'm saying? Look at all that. Everyone was going going with Meek. And obviously he was sucking everything in. He was soaking it all in. I think this is the president's daughter. Okay. Amazing. He's right here with the president. I remember the first time I saw this picture. Oh, by mamas, mamas, mamas. I said, bro, look at the way these guys are in front of the president of a nation. You will never do this in America. You will never see. Sako dear. Bring your, your, your biggest artist. They will not even sit in front of Joe Biden. Forget, you know what? Forget Joe Biden. He's a white man. He, keep keep it there. Obama. They will not even sit in front of Obama in the White House. But me, in short, this one, jeans and everything. You know what I'm saying? But if he was, if it was a Ghanaian, yeah, that asked or requested to see the president, they will ask him to wear a fucking suit. They will ask him to wear a fucking suit. The standard of dressing, yeah, will be there and he must comply to it. But because Mick Mill is from America, because he's from an artist, because he's an artist, you get what I'm saying? Everyone was sucking his toes, licking his toe caps. And his kneecaps. You get what I'm saying? And there he is with your president. With your president. Your president is put on a fucking suit. He's got a suit on. Make me go basketball shorts. Shame on you lot, man. For real. Anyways. That was not even a thing. He sat. He sat. He sat with, with the my president. my adult life was in prison. Having a whole conversation at... at as if he was going to change the life of Ghana. As if he was going to change the life of Ghanaians. He's, he's just a bloody nigger. He is just a nigger. Let's be honest. That's just what he is. And I don't have nothing ag against the guy. I don't have nothing against him. It's you lot. The reason why he was trending yesterday, which we are still, which we are still going to get to there, is your fault. Now, this is him. Because of uh, not committing crime, wrongly accused. So when I got locked up, uh, my whole city, I would say country, half of my country stood up for me. Having a whole conversation with, I'm not going to get into that. If you want to go watch that, go watch that. You know what I'm saying? 
having a conversation with your president and everything. And guess what? Yesterday, the main cloud chaser, Twitter fingers. That's what we, those were the names that he was being called back in the day. You get what I'm saying? And this is where, do, when you do too much, you do the wrong thing. He now posted a video of him in your presidential villa. I believe it's called the, the Jubilee House or something. This is the house of the president. This is the house of the president. I imagine this scenario, yeah. He probably just came by. They had their cameras and everything, you know. All the security people were like, hey, yeah, Ogami, Ogami, Ogami. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. He said, yeah, 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 please, man. Um, um, can I just shoot something, right? If you, uh, you know, if you don't mind, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, sir. Of course, sir. Do, 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 do anything with do, do. That was basically what happened. And my man decided to shoot his thing, bro, as he should. Because if you don't respect your shit, no one will respect it for you. If you do not take care of your shit, and this is a prime example, the reason why Africa, Ghana, not just Ghana, Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, all the African countries are in the situation that we are in because Africans have the God complex. The God complex does not just apply to a white man. It, just, it, it does not just apply to a colonizer. You see someone because someone came back from the UK, because someone came back from the US, you allow them to get away with bullshit. They are supposed to follow protocols. So a fucking monkey in the presidential villa allowed him to do this. Allowed him to do this because he's meek. He would not do that in the White House. Jay-Z would not even do that in the White House. Meek Mill would not turn up with a short and Air Forces to see the president. But you monkeys allowed him to do that. Play my thing, you play my money, somebody gonna end up dead. Hold up, I gotta chill. No, I keep it one in the head. Give a fuck about what you did. I know that killing nigga ain't gay, so I'd rather buy my mama crib. And yeah, I still believe in prayer. I know that God gonna clean my sins. You know my heart is pierced, God. I'm sharing my blessings through my friends and through my hood. I barely made the team, I'm with the owners on the wood. This shit wasn't in my dream to buy a team, I'm knowing I could. I'm pop. I barely made. Look, look at him. Look at him with his voice and everything. Everyone crossing their hands like that. You know what I'm saying? He, he's, he is now your president. Gone is. Oh, hey, my meek. Kojo meek is now your president. The team, I'm with the honors on the wood. This shit wasn't in my dream to buy a team. Look at that. Right in the president's house. Right in the president's house. If you don't have no dignity and everything, if you don't take care of your own thing, people will not respect that. People will not respect it. I'm knowing I could. I'm popping independent, handling my business. I'm feeling good. I'm wishing these niggas would. Blessings, blessings, hold up, blessings. Niggas ain't learn, ain't lesson, hold up. I get in time, they get on their grind, but niggas ain't do no stepping, hold up. I give her time to make up my mind, she fucked me as soon as she met me. She fucked me as soon as she met me. Those are the those are the vocabularies that he's having right there on the podium. Right there on the podium. What does the what does the president say? The presidency republic of Ghana. So I'm not I'm not out of line when I say he's the president of Ghana. I'm not out of line. Sarkodie would not be able to do this if we're going to keep it a buck. Shatawale would not be able to do this if we're going to keep it a buck. None of your artists, none of your people will be able to do this. They will not even allow you into this place. That's the self-hate that we have as a nation. We hate ourselves, but we will give every other person Every that person will give them a leeway 
to come in and do whatever the fuck they want to do because they are putting on some slave chains and some shorts and some Jordans and they speak English, American English because they are from America or because they are from the UK. You got me? It's you monkey's fault. You got what I'm saying? That right there is problem. And obviously, a lot of people are going crazy on Twitter. Going crazy on Twitter. That's him and his boys and everything. That's it right there. Freedom, justice, and... Okay, freedom and justice. That's, that's him and... But shout out to them at the end of the day, bro. Right there. He might as well. You got you go, I mean? Straight from the hood to the president's house. That's them with the president. You got what I'm saying? So, anyways, at the end of the day, bro, I just thought I should just let you man know. You got what I'm saying? You, you need to know what are your priorities. If you don't respect your home, no one will respect it. And this is nothing against Meek. I love Meek. I fuck with Meek. Big time. You got what I mean? I fuck with his music. Big time. I fuck with Dave Chappelle, all these guys and everything. I fuck with them big time. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, yeah, you've got to respect your home. Because if you don't respect your home, strangers are not going to respect your home for you. There is absolutely no reason why Mick should be shooting a, mu a music video in the presidential villa. Absolutely no reason. You know what I mean? He, he will not be able to do that in the White House. And he's a citizen of America. You, you would not be able to do that in your villa. And you are a citizen of Ghana. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, listen, I love all my Ghanaians. I love all my Ghanaians. I see Shatawale saying whatever he's saying. Let me, let me just check it out real quick. Shatawale. Shatawale, um, what did he say? Let's go to this guy. So Shatawale said, you won't go America, go take pictures for White House. You say year of return and your own black brother come shoot video as he returned home. You bore. You are a villager, trust me. People like him have a very shallow mentality. It has nothing to do with Mick Mill. It has nothing to do with whether people hate Mick Mill or not. No. It has everything to do with you respecting your home, putting a standard in your home so that when people come in, they can respect your home. You get know what I'm saying? So he got it wrong, respectfully to Shatawale. But that's a very, very, very stupid comment. But anyways, listen, as you can see, I just came back from work. I said to come have this conversation with you, Law. If you like the video, like it. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts, man. You know what I'm saying? Or you can even follow me on Instagram, man. You know what I'm saying? Slide in the DMs. Follow me on Instagram, S-T-I-L-L-T-O-B-Z. Steel Toes on Instagram. Please subscribe to the video. Or rather to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment, share it, tell a friend to tell a friend, or tell an enemy to tell a friend. And until next time, peace and love.